I'm not sure. Oh, this is so so like, oh, I wasn't making food. I was just cleaning and being outside. And now they have here. It's a little. It's basically a poor man's vanilla wafer. That's all right. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? We're at our old pal Fernbark's house. Anonymous Dave is here too. Maybe be doing a the show us your steak. I have a New York. I have some bacon. I have some mushrooms which I'm gonna saute in the bacon grease. And I have a couple of homemade biscuits. I'm just gonna warm up <clears throat> to go with it. First, I get the bacon going. Close up of the steak. Mm. <clears throat> Those coals look so cherry. Mm -hmm. No, they're definitely with them. Oh, <laughs> That is like it's like a scene out of the movie out. Hellboy or something. Yeah, that is definitely video caliber coals. Yes. Look how good that looks. He's got the nice car on the top. He just flipped it. Nice and rosy in the middle. He's got the uh, mushrooms going on there. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell this. Make a food for it. There's my steak, covered in sauteed mushrooms and bacon. That's all right. All right. We'll wait for everybody to cut a bite, and then we can cheers meat. <laughs> we can we can touch tips. Oh man. Look at that, nice and pink in the middle. I'm sure that's exactly the mm. same as Dave's burger. At least. Oh man, it cuts like butter. Delish. Mmm. Ah, cheers. Right there. Thank you. Put your meat a little pink. That's hot. <clears throat> okay, so to be clear, yesterday we cooked the uh, steak yesterday, but we didn't get around to talking about uh, kind of a sensitive subject, and that's men's mental health. Which is the whole point of the steak cooking. You know, my take on it is, you know, it's December, should have looked, December 16th, you know, so Christmas is nine days away. And it's not always a happy time for guys. And a lot of guys that I've worked with over the years, 
you know, most of them, they don't get to spend Christmas with their families, with their children, because of whatever reason, that they have to be separated, or it could just be something like they, they, they work, so they travel a lot for some reason. Some people just, I've worked with guys who had just no family. I mean, I, one gentleman moved here from, uh, I think it was India, and he had no family here. So, you know, they don't have the Christmas to spend with anybody. They don't have Thanksgiving to spend with anybody. You know, and it can be depressing for a lot of guys. So, so you know, and then, you know, who do they go to? I mean, they don't have anyone they can talk to about it, you know, because when a guy has a problem, you know, the typical response is always, you know, man up, you know, walk it off. So, that's just my take on it. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you in the next video when I get them made.